Hi hey guys, we're back, um, continuing with the, uh, the language selection. Now what we've done is, um, at this point we're going to assume that uh, uh, you're new to programming and you want to learn the concepts. And so what I've done is, um, we're going to download two things. So the first one is Free, free Pascal. It's a uh, compiler, and if you um, go to freepascal.org, um, you'll see a download link. And from there you can select. Which, uh, which platform to download for. You can see that they have, uh, you know, not all, but virtually all platforms that you can think of. And so in my case, I'm on Windows. It's a 32-bit Windows. And so I click on this link here that you can download it for 64-bit Windows, uh, Linux, Mac, Mac, you name it. And the installation is similar, um, you know, regardless of your platform. When you click on your platform, um, you can just click on you know, SourceForge, and it'll start downloading. Now, in my case, I've already downloaded it, and so we're going to go right here, and we're going to go ahead and run this. It takes a while to download, so I want to go ahead and do that. We'll select the default directory. Full installation is fine, and we're going to let it pick the associations, and there we go. Now, the second thing that we've downloaded for that is uh, something called Lazarus. So Lazarus is the IDE, uh, Integrated Development Environment. And um, what it's gonna do is allow us to develop um, GUI-based, graphical user interface, you know, the Windows that you're used to applications. And these will run on, again, Windows, Linux, or Mac. So you actually get the, uh, a wide platform right out of the box. In this case, you just download your right, your right version here. And again, I've done that in the background. So we're going to skip this, click finish. Now we should be able to select Lazarus. Oops. There we go. Full installation again. We'll give it a desktop icon. And let it install. This will only take a second. You can see here's the IDE for Free Pascal. This is just a command line base, which means you're going to type in everything. And uh, it, it doesn't have the, the Windows utility with it. So if you want you know, buttons or or uh, uh, edit boxes and all the other GUI type elements that you're used to from Windows and Mac, it, it won't have that, which is why we're downloading Lazarus. Lazarus is cross-platform as well, again, Windows, Linux. Um, with Free Pascal, you can actually develop for the iPhone. Uh, it can tie right into Xcode, and so you get some of the mobile platform as well. So let's see here. Okay. You can see it starts up, gives us our first window. It shows us the code here in the background. So when this started up, let's go through this. It's not as complex as it seems. But um, when it starts up, it gives you a unit, which is what they're called in Pascal. It's just a file. And it automatically installs um, our writes, the commands that you're going to need. And we'll go through this bit by bit. But um, here's our first window. We can resize it. We'll go into components and some of these other things. So if we hit play or run, it will compile the program and run. So here's our first window. So in the next form, now that we've created our first window, or in the next video, we're going to go actually into programming. And we'll do the combination console, which is just the command line, and GUI programming. But since uh, GUI programming is uh, interesting and, and it, um, it's something that you used to. We're going to start there um, and spend more time on that and we'll cover standard how do we get uh, set up and running with uh, developing some code. So take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.